What's up ladies and gentlemen? Today I wanted to talk to you about the Freedom Journal. I've been having it for about a month now and I wanted to do a review because I think it's a really interesting product. Um, before I start, I wanted to mention that I am in no way affiliated with the Freedom Journal. I'm not getting paid to do this review. I'm just a normal user like yourself that decided to pick up a journal and go from there. However, I will say that I do have an affiliate link to buy it from Amazon. So if you check that out, it would be greatly appreciated and it would help me out to continue to do reviews like this in the future. I wanted to get that out of the way because it is important for me to earn your trust by doing these reviews in a way that is totally unbiased. So I got this about a month ago and I wanted to live with it a little bit and that kind of goes along the same vein. I want to actually live and experience what it is that I'm reviewing rather than just go off of hearsay and first impressions. So with that said, let's go check out the unboxing. All right guys, today I'm gonna to be talking to you about the Freedom Journal. Here it is, nice, fresh in its wrapper, untouched. I'm gonna go ahead and open that here on camera for you guys. First impressions, it is a incredibly nice package. You can see the gold edges, very nice touch. Looks very similar to a holy book if you look at it, so that's pretty interesting to me. You can see that it says the Freedom Journal, accomplish your goals in 100 days. And that is really the reason I picked this book over anything else. I think it is the most goal oriented journal that is on the market right now. I like these elastic bands that will keep it shut. We'll see how those work in practice though. What do we have here? Welcome to the Freedom Journal. Make sure to download the free app, join our Facebook group, and visit us at eofire.com. So that's one thing I wanted to bring up. This is done by John Lee Dumas of EO Fire Podcast. Definitely check him out if you want to get some entrepreneurial content. He does a seven day a week podcast, which is pretty incredible. All right, so here's your table of contents. You can see that they have some sample equipment in the beginning. Teach you about how to do your sample day, sample night, your sprint, your recap and quarterly reviews, all that good stuff. So it's not until page 30 that you actually get started on the journal. So lots of background info. Also, as you can see, it gets broken down into 10 day sprints, which helps you get those bite sized wins throughout going toward your goal. Here's a little bit about how the Freedom Journal works. It has some nice quotes. What gets measured gets done. What gets rewarded gets done well. So reward yourself, basically. And here's some sample pages, days and nights. Blank, as I have said, this is a brand new untouched version. Again, the edging is just such a nice touch to make this thing feel special. This is gonna be your goals. This is about you. This is about achieving. And the more special this book feels, maybe the more special you'll, you'll treat it and treat the goals that are inside of it. So that's pretty much all I have for the unboxing. Again, this was from John Lee Dumas and definitely check out this Freedom Journal. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it as well. Now that you've gotten your first look at the Freedom Journal, I wanted to go over some things that I've found with living with it and also go over what it is that made me choose this one over several other options as far as journaling goes. First off, as you can see, the fit and finish of the book is stellar. Um, living with it for a few weeks now, I can say that the rubber band holding it shut is awesome. I don't get any dirt, debris, miscellaneous letters and paperwork stuffed in it on accident. It stays nice, neat and tidy. I love the bookmark option, that way you're not looking back and forth to try to figure out where it is you left off. Something that I didn't quite like initially was that the amount of space you have to write is very small. I already write small as it is, but I did find it a little bit difficult to fit everything on a single page. There's a lot of information to cover, which is awesome. I like the affirmations. I like the reminders to keep stuff going, you know, and just kind of keep you on track with your goal. I did not like so much the, the 10 day sprints. It's kind of funny because I like the idea of 10 day sprints initially because it breaks things into bite sized chunks so you can actually achieve your goal. But 
within that 10 day sprint, it seems like you kind of lose track and you just get stuck on daily life. Now that may change now that I kind of get in that mindset, you know, on my second 10 day sprint, I'll probably be a little bit more aware of that fact and keep that 10 day goal in mind as I progress. I really do feel like it's keeping me on track because every day and then every night it gets reinforced that, hey, I need to do A, B, and C in order to get to my goal. And then at night you have to say, did I really do anything to get toward my goal? And you have to live with that overnight, sleep on it, figure it out. And then the next morning, it's just like very, very quick, back to back kind of thing. Like you say, whoops, I messed up today. Tomorrow morning you wake up and it's like the last thing and the first thing you think about. So it's like, hey, I messed up. All right, remember you messed up last night? Let's auto correct today and get back on track. So it really keeps you on that path to just keep moving towards your goal. And I, I love that. I needed that affirmation to say, hey, you're doing good or hey, you need to straighten up. It just keeps you on track, keeps everything flowing. I really like that. And that leads me into why I chose the Freedom Journal over any other journal. And I don't know if you're familiar with my channel, but if you are, you may have noticed that I already journal in a composition book. And I love that. I love it for the simplicity. I love it for the cheapness of it. And I love it because you can just brain dump all up into the book and you have endless pages to write, lots of space, just go at it. It's messy. You don't have to worry about being super neat and tidy. However, the Freedom Journal is a neat and tidy book that you just have a set form to fill out and it keeps you on track to go toward your goals. This is not quite the place to vent about different feelings and emotions and stuff like that. It's strictly for goal setting and goal achievement. So that is really why I changed over to the Freedom Journal. I have a set goal and it has to do with this YouTube channel. I'm trying to grow it. I'm trying to get 2,000 subscribers in 100 days which I'm a little bit behind on that, but hey, I am working toward it. I'm trying to do step by step by step to get to where I need to be. And I think the Freedom Journal was the right choice in that respect. When I was searching for a journal, I looked at several, one of which was gonna be the five minute journal. Tim Ferriss talks about the five minute journal quite a lot. And I do like its simplicity. I like the fact that it's just affirmations and evaluating it's just self-awareness time to really figure out what it is that you're struggling with what it is that you want to achieve what it is that you want to become so i looked at it and i thought about it but it just was not as concise not as strict not as goal oriented as the freedom journal is so i looked at a, a bunch of different options like i said the composition book just the plain jane you know pen and paper type style wasn't going to cut it because it wasn't as goal oriented. Same goes for the five minute journal, which is an excellent book. If you want to check that one out as well, I'll include a link below so you can find that easily. The freedom journal is just an awesome setup with someone behind it. John Lee Dumas who runs EO fire podcast. I mean, it's, it's kind of like a no brainer. If you think about what that actually came from John Lee Dumas interviews entrepreneurs, every day, seven days a week, and puts out an incredible podcast. So he has a lot of knowledge to draw from. He's done tons and tons and tons of interviews. Definitely check him out if you're an entrepreneur yourself. I think you find a lot of value in his podcast. But that's pretty much all I got for you guys with the Freedom Journal. It's just an awesome book if you're trying to achieve a goal. It keeps you on that path. It's something to keep you self-accountable, self-motivated, but give you a guide as well. It's not so open-ended. And you know, in the couple weeks that I've had it, I really do love it. I will give you a longer term update coming down the road. But until then, like I said, that's all I got for you guys. Thank you very much for watching. As always, if you enjoyed this video, smash that like button. If you're new here, consider subscribing. There will be lots of various content on this channel, including more reviews, some vlogs, and motivational stuff to keep you going. And that's all I got, guys. So. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.